Your tower garden kit, be it the home or the flex, comes with seeds, your net pots, some vermiculite. Let me pull these out so that way we can talk about each of those. Seeds, vermiculite, it's a trace mineral. You put it on top of your seeds. We're going to talk more about that. You've got the net pots, you've got some rock wall, and a nice propagation tray here. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that so that way um, how to be successful in growing your own seedlings. Not that I don't want to sell you seedlings and ship them to you, but we want to empower you to grow your own food and make it as simple and fun as possible. So one of the key things is with this rock wall. It's important that we soak this for a good 30 minutes. And people ask me all the time, well, what does it matter? Well, rock wool actually impedes water. So you have to drench it and get it nice and wet. Plus, it gets all that lime out. I get a question all the time. Um, what is uh, the rock wool made of? It's made from Baltic rock, which is volcanic rock. They heat it up to 3,000 degrees, spin it like cotton candy, and press it into this shape. So after soaking it for 30 minutes, then come and make sure that these surfaces in here are flat. That way, when you put your seeds in, they don't all fall to one side. So just stick your finger in there or, or a, a pencil you know, with an eraser, flatten that out, and then you're ready to put seeds in it. Questions about seeding? I know a lot of us are not, are not farmers. Um, I was raised in Minnesota on a farm, and uh, you know my parents and grandparents and great-grandparents were farmers, and I have cousins today still farming. So um, you know, their uh, carbon footprint's way bigger than ours, but we can talk about that in another segment. Um, so your, your tower garden comes with a package of seeds here, some gourmet lettuce, some bib butter lettuce. It is yummy. Some arugula for those that love spice in their life. It's great to have on your salads to spice them up. Some sweet basil, great for making pesto. Also some of your dinosaur kale or black kale, Toscano kale and one of your highest antioxidants, rainbow chard. Uh, question, people ask me all the time, how many seeds should I put in the hole? I, I say, well, what does it say on the package? On the package, it talks about using four to six seeds per rock wall. We always put six in there. We want a nice full bouquet so we can get plenty to harvest from. And so we will always will put the upper end of seeds in there. And then we'll take our vermiculite and cover it. And there's still some confusion about covering it. So if they're big seeds, we put our seeds in. And if they're big seeds, we'll fill this up to the top, nice and flush to the top of the rock wall, if they're big seeds. You want to do that not only to keep them from drying out, but literally, as those seeds germinate, they pop or jump. And literally, they'll jump out of that hole. So the vermiculite will hold it nice and secure. Now, when you go and do um, lettuce seeds, they're very, very tiny. You almost need a magnifying glass. That's how tiny they are. So if you don't have good eyesight, you know, sometimes we use little, little uh, spoons to, to, to do that. And again, it says six to 10 seeds. We'll literally put 10 seeds in there. And then we only put half the amount of vermiculite because if we put too much vermiculite, then those seeds can't make their way out. So again, we just use about half the amount. Lettuce germinates very quickly within two to four days. You know, the Swiss chard can take up to 14 days. And again, you want to put them somewhere where you got a good optimal temperature around 70 to 83 degrees. Put just a quarter inch of water in there. Don't, don't do what I did, where I filled this tray up with water, put it on top of my refrigerator, and nothing germinated. Everything rotted. So this seed has everything it needs except for water, and then it needs heat. Well, on the top of the fridge, it's about 80 degrees. It's a perfect spot to germinate. Once all your seedlings have germ germinated, you want to take this and put it in direct sunlight. If you don't put it in direct sunlight, your seedlings are going to grow towards the sun and they'll become long and leggy. It won't be a healthy seedling at all. So, you know, once they've germinated, you don't even have to put the dome on it. Leave that dome off, let them breathe, put them in direct sunlight, and once they're a good two to three inches tall, just come and put them right into the tower, plop them in there, and within three to four weeks on the most of your uh, leafy greens and herbs will be full size. You know, things like rosemary and 
dill and thyme take a lot longer. Once those are established, they grow great. But if you just do these basic little hints, you'll have great success in growing your own seedlings. If you do need some seedlings, we ship typically on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday here out of True Garden. And um, you can order online and we'll ship them directly to your doorstep.